Okay, so now we're going to talk about rows curves, and you can see the forms for them. Um, I wasn't going to do a lot of drawing, but I can. Um, you've got r equals a cosine n theta, and then r equals a sine n theta. Um, and we've got if n is even and if n is odd, okay? So if the curve has um, an even number, then it's going to, you know, if n is even, I should say, then there's going to be an even number of petals. And if n is odd, there's going to be an odd number of petals. Okay. Um, I think that's probably all we want to say. Then here's the graph. So we see n is even. And because n is 4, we're expecting 2n petals. So we're expecting 8 petals in this graph. Um, and so it's going to look something like this graph over here, this rose. Um, our a is 2. Okay, so you can keep that in mind. And let's just go to Desmos then, and we'll go ahead and graph this. All right, so I'm already in polar coordinates. We talked about that. And so now I need the equation, which is r, I'm just going to type it in, equals 2 cosine 2, um, I'm sorry, 4 theta. Now, you have to put this in parentheses. Um, the book doesn't have parentheses around the 4 theta, but they should. Okay. Now, notice that it came up very quickly, like you were busy typing, and boom, there's the graph, right? Okay, so that makes it really hard to understand how these graphs come about. So we're going to show, I'm going to show you, try to show you how to fix that so you can see a tracing of the curve. So I'm going to go up here to the um, gear symbol, and I'm going to duplicate my graph. So there, now it's duplicated. Now I'm going to go back to my first graph, and I'm going to click on the circle, and I'm going to make it dotted, and I'm going to make the, um, I'm going to change this to uh, 0 0.5, okay? And that's going to make it a little bit, and I'll just keep it green. Okay, so let's see what happens when we do that. Oh, our other one is We'd have to get rid of that one <laughs> for a minute. Okay, we'll get rid of that one for a minute. Okay, so there's our green dotted rose petal thing. Okay, our rose. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and duplicate it. And then we're going to go ahead and change the color here. Um, let's just do it in black so you can see it well. And we're going to make it a solid line. And that'll change that. Now, what you're seeing is you're seeing the solid line and you can't see the green dotted line, right? Okay. So what we're going to do is after the function here, we're going to use squirrely brackets and you can just use that on your keypad if you're typing or you can use the keypad here if you need to. Okay. And I'm going to, I have to put in what it's going to go to. So I'm going to go from zero and then I do want the keypad here. I'm going to say less than or equal to um, theta. Uh, where's my theta? Well, I'll just type theta. Theta. And I'm going to say less than or equal to 2 pi. Okay. Now, um, that gives us that. Oh, that, okay. Now, now I want to change it to A. Okay. Because before I was just getting the graph again, right? Okay, so now we're going to change it so it'll do the animation. So we put in a variable a and then it pops up this little square here that says add slider. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on this negative 10. That's like the default for this range and we're going to go from 0 and then we're going to go to 2 pi. Did I get a pie? Okay. Now, I had put in a step before. I'll try leaving that out and seeing what happens here. 
Let's hit the animation button and see what happens. You can see it's already drawn part of the curve. Okay, so there it goes, zipping along, and then it undoes it. <laughs> you can watch this for hours, right? Okay, all right, so we'll stop that. So maybe we don't want to do that. So we're going to click on the animation properties underneath. We're only going to go one way, so it won't undo it anymore. And then I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't go quite so quickly. All right. Now let's start it over. Well, it's finishing up. And then it's going to start over. And now you can see how the graph is being formed, where that rose curve is coming from. Okay. And so you could do this by hand. It would be labor intensive to find a bunch of ordered pairs and graph them. But if you did, then this is the way the pattern would trace. Okay. And that just keeps going over and over. If I don't want it to keep doing that, so stop, and I just want it to do it one time, I'll just uh, click that button and it should just do it once. Okay. So there it goes. It's graphing it. You can see it graph and you can slow it down more if you want to. Okay, so that's just a little bit about Desmos and how to use the animation so you can see the graph being formed. Um, so that's really useful.